Hi, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add uh, sidebars in your uh, posts uh, if you are using 2011 theme. So this is my 2011 theme. By default, uh, in the home page, you will see that you have ability to put your sidebar widgets uh, in the home page. So, but now if I'm clicking one of my posts, for example, this post too, and I go to click that post, you see that by default, the uh, uh, WordPress default theme 2011 doesn't allow you to put anything in your site by in your post page. And this might not be uh, so comfortable if you want to put any ads or Google ads in the sidebar or anything that you want to put in your sidebar. So you might want to uh, put another uh, sidebar here in the post page. So. Uh, this is actually the result of, uh, that we want to add the sidebars. So this is the result. Actually, this is different sites. And if I click on my post, I have uh, widgets in my sidebar. So this and this would be different. So this is by default and this is what we want to do. So we have sidebar if you click on your post. And notice that the previous post, uh, the previous, the, uh, this, um, previous entry or next entry, this one goes down. So I did put it, uh, before the common template. So I want to do that. But if you don't want, you can also, uh, let it be like this. But you will see later in the process on how we do it. And so let's get started. I'm going to close this, uh, um, this result and we we start to work with this uh, demo site. So first of all, what you what you going to do is you go to your C panel. So this is the C panel. If you are in your uh, WordPress directory where your WordPress files are, you will find as usual wp admin wp content and so forth. And the first step is you going to click on the uh, WP desk content and then go to themes and this video tutorial is actually uh, continuing uh, my other tutorial which is uh, creating 2011 chart theme and if you haven't done so you would uh, like to follow my other tutorial which is called um, creating 2011 child theme. So I've already created my 2011 child theme, which is called my 2011 folder here. And this is the original. So what we're going to do next is uh, clicking my 2011. And uh, in my previous tutorial, creating 20 child theme, there is already, I already copy or uh, created blank functions.php and then putting a code there to uh, besides some header or whatever. So we're going to click functions.php and if you have an, uh, any functions.php, you just create blank uh, functions.php and click code edit dot. So if you create a blank functions.php, it will be blank, but then you can edit yourself and adding PHP and then closing the PHP like this. Right, and then now we're going to. Um, in fact, this is when we uh, inspect with Firebug. You see that we have uh, here. In fact, it was showing more clearly. Body class here, maybe. It has body class which is called um, singular here. Um, wherever. There it is, singular. So it has body, cl body class singular. So you will find in the system as well, there is a body class. And now we're going to remove that body class because that body class makes this uh, uh, different customization than home page. And we want to make our post page looks like home page at least with the uh, uh, widgets there. So we're going to add in this function to PHP First of all, we're going to add action. Uh, we're going to put our new functions there. So add action and then um, like this, right? And then inside these brackets, we're going to, uh, or inside this parenthesis, uh, we're going to add 
between the quotes uh, after set up theme and then quotes and then comma and then quotes again uh, two quotes and between these two quotes we want to put our function you can name whatever you like but in this demo I want to name it my 20 underscore 11 and then underscore sidebar right like this and then uh, under this we're going to uh, create the functions functions and then you're going to copy your function name okay and then opening brackets and closing brackets and between the brackets we're going to hit enter a few times like this okay maybe we should leave some space okay functions my 2011 sidebar this is our functions and then we're going to uh, between the brackets we're going to what function it is and then we're going to uh, not add but remove and then underscore filter this one you can check in uh, WordPress uh, codex creating uh, 20 creating child theme and then you're going to remove filter and then uh, parentheses and then quotes now between the parentheses we're going to what what kind of uh, filter that you want to apply or removing and we want to remove body class let's call body class underscore class and then co uh, comma and then uh, what kind of body class this is and it is a 2011 body classes so 2011 2011 and then underscore body and then underscore classes so now we have we already done it but maybe we should check because functions.php is very sensitive okay now looks like we already have all we're going to save changes now we will see what happened with our blog so we're going to refresh it now we don't see any changes but we have to click one of the posts so we're going to click that now we still don't see but you see the, the difference that this pose is going to the left side instead of uh, staying in the middle this is because the body class is gone and if we uh, inspect with firebug when we go up and looking for the body class the singular is gone you don't see any singular anymore because uh, we remove it so now then uh, the next step is we display our sidebar so go back to our file manager as you can see uh, if we go back to our 2011 theme we look for single.php this is actually single see our single post is placed on single.php so this there it is and we're going to copy this so just highlight it and then going to copy and then mm, uh, remove that 2011 and we're going to uh, replace it with our folder of our tw uh, 20 child theme 2011 child theme so my 2011 like this and then copy files now we go up one level and check on my 2011 child theme folder if single.php is there and there it is and we're going to go the editor again there it is our child theme single.php that we copy from our, uh, our parent theme which is 2011 default theme and here you notice that uh, okay here you see that in fact uh, every theme of WordPress there is a get header so PHP get header that is the header part and then the content right and this is the content and then the footer there it is and if you go to home page so this is the header and this is the content and this is the sidebar and then this is the footer so that and if you go to your pose sidebar is missing because in this code 
there is no sidebar. So here we're going to add line which is called PHP and then get underscore sidebar and closing PHP. Then we're going to hit to hit save changes button and now we're going to refresh our post page and you see that um, in this post page you see that we now have sidebar which was missing. So now we have sidebar and as I said earlier that this navigation is on the top and then the title so you uh, you might want to just leave it like it is but I would like to move that navigation under the post and then move up the title so uh, you can just leave it like it is but you can also uh, follow what I'm going to do what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this uh, navigation down under my post so in in fact this is like 2010 theme so what we're going to do is continue editing single.php file and then move it uh, you see that now we have a template part which is a single.php and a com a common template common template is actually your common template is where the common pa part is so now what I'm going to do is move this thing this uh, navigation cut and then move it uh, before the common template so under the content press like that okay like that and then save changes and if I refresh it now we have it there it is our navigation which was on the top moved down to the bottom and you see now our post it's uh, looking nice with, uh, in one line with the sidebar and then uh, but you know that now uh, we have another problem which is uh, having the previous and expose uh, combined with the common template you see the gray thing there and you might not you you might want to fix it and to fix it uh, editing this single stored PHP again and then um, before the comments template we're going to paste another div with uh, clearing all of the stuff there so uh, div style and then uh, equal and then quotes quotes and then like that and uh, closing the div and then I want to clear all so clear both clear both and then save changes and if you refresh it you see that now it's clearing all the CSS thing and then now um, it's clean uh, it's not combined anymore with your gray uh, common templates and then you notice that we have now previous and next what I want to do is now I want to put the previous is on the left side and the next thing in the right side so I want to make it flow to the right, left and then flow to the right what I'm going to do now editing again our single.php and then uh, here uh, that navigation is in fact inside the nav um, slash single uh, ID so I want to remove that and I want to remove that too and I don't see that I have to use that h3 um, assistive text div h3 so now that I'm having only the navigation save changes and then you see that we still now have that on the all on the right side and if I refresh that I have now previous and next there and then the next is I want to add a, a wording there instead of previous and then arrow and then the next I want to add maybe previous post or my next post and then I want to edit again single.php and then here I want to add the wording previous post or you can add my previous post if you want and then uh, next my next post and then save changes and let's see what happens 
you see now the wording is also changing my previous post and my next post and the arrow and if I click on my next post I'm on the next post you see and my previous post you still have there and then the sidebar so now the last fix that we want to add here is a uh, you see that the title here is not in one line of this uh, first widget uh, title so if we inspect there title and then go down you see that it has padding top of 15 pixel now if we want to uh, say 0 pixel what happened it goes up so now we might want to uh, change it so we go there again and um, inspect that and in fact this is the uh, class entry title but the the body we, I want to have the single only on single page so single okay so now we're going to edit CSS edit CSS did you see better we cannot see the the widget title but uh, we're going to add a single and then what was that h1 entry title single and then h1 entry uh, title right and then CSS And then we're going to what padding top you see it was having a padding top of 15 pixels so now we're going to padding top zero like this you see it was going up so we're going to copy this or oh, cut whatever but it's still not safe so we're going then to our file manager and look for style.css code editor and then here we're going to paste that code you see now we have it and uh, save changes now uh, maybe we don't have to save it yet so we see we will see the different cut it save the changes and refresh it now you see that we still don't have one line between this title and the widget and now we're going to uh, add that code paste that and save changes and then refresh it you see it's moved up to a little bit up and then you will see it's uh, on one line and it's quite nice and then you see my previous post let's click it now we are on uh, post 2 and then my previous post next post is all fine and then yeah all right now so that's it how you add your sidebar in your post page in um, uh, 2011 child theme so thanks for watching and take care goodbye